Hi, everyone. To celebrate the onset of pumpkin spice latte season, I thought I would stop by and share this pumpkin spice latte card with you um, that also has a gift card holder on the inside of the card. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm using a whole bunch of different products from Honey Bee Stamps. This is a coffee bean stencil from Honey, I think it's from a release maybe two or three years ago. Um, and I just have cut out a slimline card base and then I'm just inking over that stencil with some Distress Oxide ink in Vintage Photo and then Walnut Stain, but any brown would work here, a light brown and a dark brown preferably. And I'm just gonna add those coffee beans to the top of our slimline card base. And I just used a fall colored cardstock that I had at home to make my card base. And I'm just gonna um, ink around the edges just so that it has a nice rustic feel. Now I cut out our coffee cup from another coffee cup die from Honeybee Stamps that they released I think two years ago as well as this gift card holder released around the same time as well and I the paper that I'm using is Copic Express It blending card it's my favorite um, cardstock to use if I'm going to be Copic coloring and then this stamp set that I'm using here is the pumpkin patch stamp set and we're gonna make like a little coffee or a little pumpkin spice fall autumn themed um, pattern to go on our coffee cup and so I don't waste time coloring in the parts that are going to be covered by the coffee cup holder I just um, have been using that coffee cup holder so I can see um, what parts of the coffee cup are gonna stand out that I need to color now this is the inside gift card pocket and I'm stamping one of the pumpkins from the pumpkin patch stamp set. And then we're also going to use a sentiment from, I think this is the fabulous sentiments from, from last year. And um, I'm just going to stamp a little curly cue there on the edge of the pumpkin. And then we'll color in our pumpkin. I'm going to use some Y19 for the areas where I want it to have the highlights for the pumpkin or be the lightest shaded color and then since this is no line coloring I'm going to color over my stamped lines with the darkest shade that I'm going to use for the pumpkin which is E99 here and then I'm just going to add in my other orangey and yellow tones with my YR15, my YR21. These are the light tones that I'm using for the pumpkin and then some YR27 to further define those little ridges in the pumpkin. And then we'll also take some YR24 to add a little bit more shading. So I've been really liking this color combination for autumn pumpkins this year. It's a lot of colors. You probably don't need them all. You could probably get by with just maybe um, a YR21, 24, and 27. But if you want your pumpkin to have a little bit more um, I don't know, some, some more values in it, some more different shades, then you can also add the YR15 and the Y11 and the E99 like I did here. For the stem on the pumpkin, we're gonna use YG91, 95, and 97, and then that little colored over it with E47. And then we're gonna fill in the entire background of our gift card pocket with some YG91. So this is a a fun trick um, if you don't have the right cardstock color to use you can always just make your own by coloring it in with Copic markers especially if it's a small part like um, or a small piece of paper like this gift card holder and then I'm just adding a little deeper shade for the back of the gift card holder that's peeking out so I use some YG 97 there and that looks good to me now we'll stamp our sentiment it's gonna say here's a little something sweet and I did have to cut this stamp apart um, in order to get it to fit, but that's fine. Perfectly fine to do that with your stamps if you like. And now we can color in the leaves and the pumpkins on our coffee mug. So I'm gonna use the same colors for the pumpkins. Um, this time I'm gonna color in the ridges with YR27 instead of the E99, go a little bit lighter. And then we'll color in the stems of the pumpkin with YG93. 
and then add some YR23, some YR21 for a lighter shade, and then follow it up with a little Y13. You could also use Y11 there. And then some YR15, I just put a little bit of a glaze to make the pumpkin a little more orangey. And again, you don't need to fuss as much as I am with all these colors. If you just use three colors, uh, a light, a mid-tone, and a dark, that is more than enough to get a really good look with Copic markers for these pumpkins. And I'm just going to color in that little guy around the edges, and then we can move on to our leaves. So I'm using my favorite fall combinations. Uh, color combinations in this card. So I'm going to show you what they are as we get to the other leaves. So I've been loving the orange combination that you saw that I used for the pumpkins. And then for leaves that have started to turn brown, I'm really loving starting off with a base of E31 and then using E55 for my contrast shade and then E um, I'm sorry, E57 for my darkest shade, and then E55 for my mid-tone. So that's um, one of my new favorite combinations for autumn leaves. And as I'm coloring them in here, I'm just playing around. I'm trying to um, experiment with adding a little bit of texture by adding those little dashed lines instead of uh, applying the color in like a clean layer. So I urge you just have fun with your coloring, try out different things. Um, that's the way that you grow. That's the way that you, um, you know, you don't stay stagnant or you don't kind of get stuck in a rut. Always try new things. Um, for this maple leaf here, we're going to use some R56 and then R59. So just two colors here. And then I decided to brighten it up with a little R43 in some of the lighter areas. Probably didn't need it, but again, I was experimenting and having fun. And now we'll have a little golden leaf here. So I'm using Y26, Y21, and then a little bit of shading with the E55. That's a, another favorite combination for me when I want to make a golden colored piece of foliage for fall. Like we did with a gift pocket, I'm going to color in the entire background of our coffee mug with YG91. Now the brown um, coffee cup holder is going to cover the center of the coffee mug so we don't need to um, even color in that part um, or at the very least here I'm not going to work on getting a good blend in that area just the areas around the leaves and the pumpkins the part that was going to show through on the card is where I'm going to work the most. And this is all looking good to me. Now, I thought it needed a little bit more festivity, so I'm just going to um, stamp on some little curly cues just all around the areas of the coffee cup that are going to show, and then like on the edges of the pumpkins as well, and that just gives me the, the look that I'm looking for. It finishes it off nicely, I think. Now we can put our gift card holder together, so I'm going to take some eighth of an inch score tape. I think quarter of an inch would work as well here. And then I'm just going to peel off the tape in a second and then just close it up, run my bone folder over it just to make sure I get um, a good seal and then checking to make sure that my gift card works or fits and it does. Now we're going to add the lid to the coffee cup. So I die cut two pieces here just so that the lid stands out a little bit from the cup. So it has a little bit of dimension. And then I'm just going to glue that down right on top. And now we're going to add our coffee cover. We don't need that little piece, that little edge piece, because we are not making a um, three dimensional card here. If you, you could also make this a coffee shaped card if you like, and then you could um, die cut two of these pieces and make like a sleeve that encloses the coffee mug. But for this card, we're just going to attach it to a slimline card base. Um, and then I'll show you how it opens in a second. I cut out this thank sentiment from the slimline die set from Honeybee Stamps that was released as part of their summer release. And I cut out three die pieces just because it's pretty thin and I wanted my sentiment to stand up from the card. So I'm just going to um, glue those three together. It's a very fine um, sentiment here, but if you have a 
thin nozzle for your glue, you should have no problem gluing the little pieces together. And I'm just using my reverse tweezer here to hold the little piece as I am working on it. Now I'm just going to make sure everything is lined up perfectly. That all looks good to me. And now we can attach it to the card. I'm just going to apply another layer of glue here and then stick it right onto the center of our little coffee cup holder. And now we can glue on our little um, internal pocket. So I'm just going to use tape runner for this part. You could use liquid adhesive. I don't think it matters much. I just had that handy. So that's what I grabbed. And now we can start putting together our entire card. So I'm going to take this slimline frame that I cut out using Honey Beauty Stamps new slimline die set. Just applying a thin layer of glue along here and then I'm going to place it right on top of our slimline card base. And this is um, four inches by eight and a half inches. And then I'm just going to attach our coffee cup right on top. Just using my tape runner there for the adhesive. And now you can see how the card works. So you lift up the flap of the coffee cup and inside is that great little um, pocket with the gift card inside. And I added a Starbucks gift card because I just thought that it went along well with the, the pumpkin spice latte theme of the card. So now I thought the card needed a little bit more decoration in that top half. So I stamped out some Happy Fall with Versamark ink and we're going to use gold embossing powder and white embossing powder. I wasn't sure at this point which one I wanted to use so I thought I'd try both of them and then we will select the one that looks best with our card design in a second. So I'm just going to use my heat gun to heat both of them. And then I'm just going to get my paintbrush and then brush aside all the residue um, that was left behind from the anti-static powder tool that I applied before I did my embossing. Now I just cut this out into a little strip. I applied some foam tape and then we're going to stick it right in the center there. So it says happy fall. I also experimented to see how it would look if I put the happy fall on the lid, but I really thought that that top half of the card needed um, a little more decoration. And then you lift the lid and then you see this cute little gift card pocket with a gift card inside. And that is it. So that is our card for today, everyone. I hope that this card puts you in the autumn spirit and gets you all excited to make some great autumn themed cards this year. Um, lots of great products from Honey Bee Stamps that you can use to make adorable autumn cards. All right, that is all I have for today. Have a great day and I will see you again soon in another video.